Hey y'all, Carolina Tony here, and today we are in Carolina Debbie's kitchen. Hey y'all. This is something that has been long awaited for. It is summertime, and we are going to do a cooking video, right? Yes. And this is something that might not be of interest to everyone. Eggplant. And I know some of you say eggplant. Well, I used to say so too. You go to a restaurant and you order it and they slice it. This is done a different way. And Miss Debbie is going to give you step-by-step -step instructions. And I promise you, this is going to be good. And we'll get started right after this station. Identification. That's it. <laughs> decided that I would try a fried eggplant. Um, I've done it many, many years ago, but it's been a long time since I had eggplant. I learned how to cook eggplant this way because this is how Brenda Gant cooks her eggplant. As many of you know, she has a cooking show called Cooking with Brenda Gant. And um, I was watching her video and I thought, that looks interesting. I think I'm going to try it. So we're going to do that today, and I'm going to show you step by step how I, I do it. First of all, you're going to pick your eggplant out. Um, it's, you don't want one really soft, um, a little firm. It should be, I mean, I know they make different kinds of eggplant. I saw eggplant in the mountains that was white. I've never seen that before. So your typical um, eggplant is purple, and what you do is you're going to Cut the end off, both ends, and then I'm going to take the eggplant and I'm going to slice it down the middle in half. I'll show you once I get it sliced, just in half like this, and then I'm going to um, cut, that, cut that piece in half again, and then I'm going to slice it again so you should get four four slices out of a half an eggplant so you're half an and quarter i'm halfing it and quartering it and then you want to peel the purple portion off of the eggplant so i'm just going to peel it um it's a it's a little tough um so take your time and just peel the um the purple skin off of the eggplant. Um, I did wash this eggplant and dried it before the video started, so make sure that you do that as well. One thing I forgot to mention is back on the stove, I have a cast iron pot, and mine is um, a little deep, uh, deeper than your traditional frying pan, and I have filled that with vegetable oil and I'm heating it up. Now, we're gonna do what's called deep fat frying. And I know that kind of scares people when you, we talk about frying, but I promise you that you will not, these will not be greasy, you will not taste the grease, and most of the grease that you have in your pot, we will reserve it for the next time. We have peeled our eggplant and what I'm going to do now is these quarters that I have, I'm going to cut them again in half. Now you're having the quarters. Yes. We want to get it in diced pieces. So we want it, you may, if your eggplant is bigger, you might have to cut like that one I did. I cut three times because I want it in cubes and in fairly small cubes. So this is where it's different restaurants, rather than being sliced and round, they'll wind up in cubes. So again, we're gonna cube it like cube cheese. That's probably about a good size um, that you want. And you, then you're gonna take it and you're gonna put it in a container um, so that we can, we can bread it. Um, and you can put, these two that you sliced 
in half. You can put them together, two pieces like that. You can put them together, make your, make your cubing a little easier and quicker. So now I have it all cubed. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have, we're going to put a little bit of buttermilk on it. Make sure you shake your buttermilk up. And you don't, need a, you don't need a lot, you just need to be able to coat your eggplant, maybe with, you know, maybe yeah, three good, three or four, maybe tablespoons, I guess. I don't measure. Um, and then we're going to um, coat your eggplant. Once we get it mixed up really good, I'm going to wash my hands. We're going to sprinkle it with um, cornmeal. And what I've used, and this is what Brenda Gant uses, white lily, buttermilk, um, self-rising cornmeal mix. This is a mix. This makes really good cornmeal, cornbread too. Is that the same stuff you use for biscuits? No, no. this is cornmeal, not flour. Okay. So we're gonna take our cornmeal. I don't measure either, just sprinkle it on top. Put enough in there where you can, where you can coat it. And then we're going to take a spoon and we're gonna make sure that our eggplant pieces are coated with the cornmeal. This is the good stuff. This is the stuff that's going to fry up really good and be uh, crunchy. I'll tell you what would go real good with that eggplant. What? Some good homemade biscuits. Well, we'll see. You might get some. But I know we will have fresh tomato tonight and pork chops. All right, so we got it coated really good. We're gonna take it over to the stove. I did take my oil off um, a little bit because I thought it was getting a little bit too hot. So we're gonna come back over here. And you wanna make sure that your oil is hot. I say it, it's hot, it's smoking. It needs, to, it needs to start smoking. And then you're gonna just take, I, I'm not brave enough to pick it up with my hands and put it in the hot oil. So we're gonna take a spoon, a slotted spoon, and we're going to drop it down into that hot oil. Make sure that those pieces kind of get separated in there. And remember what I said, you're gonna, you're gonna deep fat fry them. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit about halfway. And you just want them to get, to get brown. And they're floating in that they're floating in that oil, and it's not going to take long for them to for them to cook. And now you're going to be able to cook all of those in there at the same time. No, I have about this much left. It's probably going to take two batches to um, to cook. So what I've done is I have a a plate with paper towel, and you just kind of want to let them let them fry, turn them over so that they don't get. Um, too brown on one side and, and you might have a hard time because they want to they want to flip over so you might have to individually flip them so you can get them on both sides now I did not salt and pepper these you could probably we're not big salt and pepper eaters um, so you could probably salt and pepper these before you put your um, buttermilk and your cornmeal on it. Or you could probably salt and pepper your cornmeal as you were dredging them in there. I bought some fry, I bought some green tomatoes from the produce, mar produce stand in Mountains. And I plan on cooking those maybe tomorrow for supper and doing it the same way. They're getting nice and brown and crunchy. Now, when I finish with this oil, I'm going to let it cool, and then I am going to strain it, and I am going to save it again. 
So you see these are done. It does not take long. I'm just going to put them over on this paper towel lined plate. And I could make a meal just off of this. <laughs> so any of the oil that is on the eggplant, the paper towel is going to absorb that. So you'll be getting even less. Exactly. So that's our first batch. And then I'm going to put the second batch in, same way. Put them in, make sure that they're kind of spread out. So that they, they may want to gum up a little bit, so you just need to, once they get in the, into the hot oil, is to spread those out. You don't want to crowd your pan, that's why I did two separate batches of them so that I didn't, I didn't crowd my, yeah, my paint mop. Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. You see the size of my pan? It is, it is a little deeper. It's not a Dutch oven um, pan, but it is deeper than, I have several pieces of cast iron. And so this one is a little, little deeper fryer than my other pans. Um, people ask, how, how do you clean your, your pans? Um, I just, I wash them. I don't put them in the dishwasher. I just wash them with soapy water. The best way to grease your pans is to use your pans. The more you use your cast iron pans, the better, the better seasoned that they will be. I'm just kind of making them swim around in there so that they don't stick together. Tony's already sampling, sampling them. I like them fried a little more, a little crispy, so that's why you'll see mine are like that. But if you, if you don't want yours that crispy. You could take them out at, at, at any stage. Just make sure that you are careful with your oil. Make sure that your oil is not too hot. When you're turning your oil on the first time and getting it heated up, your, your oil should really start smoking a little bit and that way you'll know that your oil is hot enough to put, your egg, to put whatever you're, you're cooking in it. I need to turn it up a little bit. Um, when you when you put anything in your oil, especially something like we coated with the buttermilk, the buttermilk is cold, and so it is going to um, cool down your oil somewhat. So I just turned it back up because it didn't look like it was hot enough for me. Okay, I think this batch is done. So all I'm going to do again is pick them up, put them over here on this paper towel, and they are done. Very quick, very easy. Okay, uh, we're all done. You see how much uh, eggplant that made. It's a nice plate full. Um, it, again, it's very quick, very easy. Anybody can do it. I am <laughs> by far not a master cook. So um, if I can do this, anybody can do it. And I think they are delicious. You're not kidding. Yum. Entirely different than any eggplant I've ever had. Mm. You don't have to cut it with a, a knife. You just eat it. I can make a meal off of just, just this and a good, fresh beefsteak tomato. Yum, y'all. 
Exactly, and you know, listen, I sure would love to have some biscuits with this, but you know, it's not, it's not, a, what do you call it? It's not a, a done deal if we don't. Anyway, listen guys, I'm gonna link some other videos that Debbie's done on actually on how to make biscuits. If you hadn't seen them yet, I'll put a link at the very end so you can go check that out. Uh, we will probably even do some green fried tomatoes coming up soon. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give us a big old thumbs up. Be sure to share this video with your family and friends. But until next time, y'all have a good day. That's it.